So typically, if we're measuring a small diameter, and let's say you want to take 20 points by tactile measurement. Now most CMMs with certain type of measurement capability might take a second per point. We can do 20 points in less than half a second. Graham, OGP, uh, part of the Carful and Group. Um, we're looking here at the Smart Scope. Um, I want to learn all about it because it, it's fascinating and sure, I'm sure our sure. audience are going to love it. Explain yeah. where it came from and why you've developed it and what it is. Okay. Well, it's okay. We, the, the machines were formed many, many years ago, 1946. There was a, a massive marketplace for optical measurement uh, at those times. Traditionally, they used to supply to, uh, say, camera manufacturers. People like Kodak purchased lots and lots of machines for checking film and checking the, the whole pictures on film and things like that. The product then developed. Uh, as it developed over time, uh, we started to introduce tactile measurement to it, you know, in 1990, 72. That was done for a reason, so you get then get some form of, of multi-sensing um, capability with the machine. So then, typically, it was no longer flat 2D parts that were being inspected. It was then becoming more 3D parts. So a few years ago, we set a challenge back into production because as more and more competitors have come into the marketplace with optics, we need to have a product that was one was competitively priced, but would also give us full capability to have multi-sensor with 3D CAD capability. Hence, the SP machine was launched. Okay, now the, the optics on this, this is, this is what really um, gets my interest sure. here. Why are we using optics compared to touch probing for example what's the benefit to it i think if you if you imagine just a traditional camera system that's got some form of focus on that but if you introduce scales to some form of camera then you've then got the ability to do some form of z measurement along with a good structure it gives you very accurate measurement in the z axis uh, for depth measurement by using optics um, and that's where we come from okay now um the depth measurement is one thing, but what's the advantage to that? Because you could do that with a, with a probe as well, is it? Because you, you don't necessarily can do with a probe. To touch the part? Uh, well, there is that, because some, com some uh, manufacturer of components may have a chrome um, component that obviously you can't actually touch because, of course, you may you know, mark the component as such. So optics or laser may you know, do the application as such. Is it much faster as well, though? 100% much faster. So typically, if we're measuring a small diameter, you, and let's say you want to take 20 points by tactile measurement. Now most CMMs um, with certain type of uh, measurement capability might take a second per point. We can do 20 seconds in less than half a second, 20 points in less than half a second. Okay, so it's yeah. speed, it's precision as well. Is there any restriction to using the optics on this? Not at all. Um, the only restrictions you always have is if you imagine a camera um, with this particular unit, we are looking top down on top of the component. So as we look top down, anything we can see by eye, we can measure. If you want to measure a side feature uh, in the same orientation, that's when you've got to think actually, I may need some form of tactile measurement. Uh, and guess what? This machine can do that too. 100% do all. And now we've got the stylus in here. So this is a different way of measuring the part, or Absolutely. certainly this bore. Sure. Why would you sure. choose that over, over the optics? Well, again, if you're looking at optical, uh, we might look at the top of the part uh, or the bottom of the ball. Um, so by using tactile, we can actually go halfway down the ball. As I mentioned to you earlier, a camera can see top down. So we're actually using a stylo on this particular application now to scan around the side wall of the ball. And would you have like a docking station where you keep the styluses and the different Absolutely, methods yeah. of, of tactile uh, Again, measure? dependent of what the customer wants uh, and the bedside he chooses, then you could have a docking station. Uh, we could integrate into robots, so it can be a full production routine as well on the shop floor if required. So there's many different solutions uh, you know, to, for, for a customer uh, with the system. I want to just now, before we close this off, talk about maybe an application that people could, could recognise sure, sure. where the optics really scores over the tactile. Yeah, um, perfect example. If you, if you suffer with asthma um, and you've got an inhaler, um, and of course at the bottom of the plastic inhaler, it's got to deliver a drug. Now there's a very, very small hole there that the drug has to come through. And that may be typical of maybe 20 microns, 10 microns. Now if that hole is not the right size, of course the, the drug will not get through the hole. Um, and of course people will still suffer with asthma. So it's very, very important we have the ability to measure small features. And in your role, are you coming across applications across vast uh, industries where having this flexibility within measuring parts is, is really winning new business. Absolutely. Um, if we, again, going back on time, we've done a lot of work with raised plates. Uh, I think I'm okay to mention Gillette. They've been a, a big user uh, of OGP equipment for, for many, many years. But they may look at the sharpness of the blade. They may look at the plastics on the handle. 
um, to make sure that they actually perform to specification, of course, that you don't cut yourself when you have a shave. Thank you.